Thin rail terminal blocks are made to accommodate different sizes of cable. This Galco TV how-to video will show you how to wire a standard screw base or screw in DIN rail terminal block. The wiring slot for DIN rail terminal blocks are located either on the side or the front of the terminal block. It's important to consider where these are as this helps with installation and integration into your applications. Once you've determined where the wiring slots are, the first step you need to take is to make sure that your electrical equipment is not only turned off, but is fully de-energized to eliminate the risk of electrocution or shock. Next, use a wire stripper to peel back some of the insulation of the wire. You should only need about 3 fourths of an inch exposed to form a secure connection. Now you can use a screwdriver to loosen the screw in the entry slot of your terminal block, then insert the exposed wire and make sure it is fully in the slot. Then you can tighten the entry slot screw to secure your connection. Give it a little pull to make sure the connection is tight, and this is important because a loose screw could cause overheating and further melt the exposed wire insulation. Repeat this process until all the wires you need to be connected to the terminal block are secure. All that is left to do now is mount the terminal block on the DIN rail just like this cut to size DIN rail option for my BOCO which is available in standard 1 and 2 meter lengths with customizable lengths ranging from 2 inches to 23.625 inches. Finally, you can re-energize the equipment that the terminal block is connected to and you have just safely installed, wired, and integrated a DIN rail terminal block that has a screw base design. For more how-to videos, like and subscribe to Gelco TV so you can be notified when new videos are posted.